Right, good morning, friends. It's uh, the AM Icebreaker 4. What is today? February 23rd, Friday. I made it through a whole week of this stuff. I'm actually excited about that because, uh, you know, this is something I've been trying to do for a while. I remember, um, yeah, I've been talking about this for a bit, and it's funny because I went to uh, Luca, Luca Hosovar, his awesome uh, Vigor Fitness Business Summit, which I recommend all of you try to get to at some point. And uh, Jay Ferruja actually had a little tip for everybody. He was like, find one thing you can do every day and do it. You're going to suck at it. You'll get better at it, but just do it. And uh, so I've tried to do that. And, you know, I, I tried doing daily videos. But the thing for me was just um, was just trying to find something that sticks. So, I mean, I don't know what it says about me that just getting on camera and ranting says about me. I guess it means that I'm a horrible narcissist who just loves to hear himself talk. But uh, I, th I think, but let's be honest, we all are. But, you know, whatever. I mean, it, it's working for me. I'm loving it. Um, I hope I hope uh, you guys are at least enjoying hearing me babble. And trust me, I'll get better at this eventually. But, uh, yeah, man, housekeeping first. Um, like I've been saying, GDC is coming up. So let me know if you want a movement screen. It's Friday, so that means two more days. And I'll be doing my live, uh, live Q&A with the coach. So leave me a question about dry fasting. That's what we're going to be talking about. Or just intermittent fasting or fasting in general, and I'll see what uh, I'll see what kind of conversation we can have around that. Um, and then one more thing I was gonna say. Oh yeah, completely unrelated, but uh, well, not really unrelated. But uh, I'm gonna start Twitch streaming just for fun. I love video games. If you guys are into that, I'll have a link to my Twitch channel in the description. So follow me there. Uh, it'll probably be another thing I do on weekends. And uh, it's, it's interesting. That's actually something I kind of wanted to. Uh, that does segue nicely into what I want to talk about today. So I want to talk today about. Um, about opportunities and being observant. Um, I'm, you know, I keep saying I'm not going to rant, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with a little bit of a mini rant, I suppose. You know, one of the one of my one of the the internet memes, I guess, that sits with me very poorly is, and you guys have seen some variant of this. It's you know, there, there's a picture of a homeless guy, <clears throat> and there's a picture of a guy in a suit who's obviously meant to be a well-to-do guy, and they're either standing next to each other or like the the guy in the suit is giving the homeless guy some money or something, and the caption is usually something to the effect of. You know, the only difference between you and me is luck. And that, that bugs me. Like, this, this mentality that if you're doing well in life or if you're making progress, it's just because you're lucky. I mean, I guess that's true to an extent, but, but let's, let's, def let's, let's define some terms. Let's talk about, like, luck and opportunity. I, I think luck is absolutely a, a force, first of all. I'm not saying that it doesn't exist. I mean, you know, I look at my life, and I'm very lucky to be where I am doing what I'm doing. But <clears throat> the reality is luck, to me... I believe luck only shows you the opportunity. Ultimately, you still have to do the work. And you also have to know, you know, a step back, you also have to know to look for those opportunities or you have to know enough to put yourself in a situation where people are going to help you with that. And um, so how does that dovetail with, you know, Twitch streaming, video games, technology and fitness and me personally? Well, when I first got onto this path about three years ago, I kind of said, all right, well, you know, technology is now just something that I, you know, used to be my job. It's not my job anymore. I don't do it anymore. Or as soon as I get out of fitness, I'm not going to do it anymore. And like, I had never thought that I would go to the game developers conference and talk and do a speech on mobility, on movement, on joint health, um, just because I wasn't thinking that way. But thankfully, um, my very excellent mentor, uh, Sarah Jamison of Movolution and the Eye Academy. Uh, what's up, Sarah? You know, she said to me, you know, she's like, she's like, well, why, <clears throat> why, why, why are you looking at it that way? You know, think about it. What's one of the reasons you got into this? And, and I thought about it and I was like, well, yeah, one of the reasons I got into movement and mobility was because from being in tech for so long and sitting at a desk for 10, 12 hours a day, you know, back before standing desks were ubiquitous. It, yeah, I had problems from that. And so, and so she said, well, don't you think other people in the industry would too? And you already speak their language. You know how to connect with those folks. So why would you... Why would you cut yourself off from that? And more than that, why would you, why would you deprive those folks of a service they really need? So thank you, Sarah. Um, but yeah, but that's but that's just the point, you guys. Like you know, luck, luck and opportunity exists everywhere, and you have to know to look for it. You know, don't. <clears throat> and 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 it's the worst thing. You know, speaking of video games, right? I mean, how many of our parents ever said, uh, "Well, you're never gonna get rich playing video games." Well, I mean, how many how many folks out there are streaming games on YouTube making seven figures? You know, I mean. Because they saw an opportunity, and nowadays, you know, I've said this before too, but the, the opportunities exist, the tech is there, the knowledge is there. I mean, everything exists now for you to go make your own luck, whether it's, you know, free resources online or, you know, I look at, for example, I look at my continuing education in fitness and I say, wow, I'm lucky that I'm living in a time and I've chosen to get into this industry in a time where there are so many people out there who have been doing amazing work for so long 
that now I can go to courses and take advantage of, of all their learning, you know, all the, the great mentors I've had from Honor Academy and from FRC and from Animal Flow and just, just so many great people. And so, and again, like I said, it's all luck, opportunity, timing, all these things. So yeah, go make your own luck, you guys. Um, and that's that. Uh, I'm going to go... I'm going to go finish making some of my own luck by uh, <clears throat> by doing some some design for my website, which I hope to launch this weekend. And like I said, Sunday we'll be talking, and so leave me a question, and uh, cheers. <laughs>